So this is our solar aircraft that we designed, um, completely autonomous, it can fly, it's got 96 cells across the wing surface, so this will charge the batteries up during the day while it's sunny, and then those batteries will power the plane at night so we can do an overnight flight. Um, all the electronics is basically housed in the fuselage here. The ultimate goal for this aircraft is to set the world record for longest unmanned flight. Uh, right now it's at 26 days, but we figure we can get two to three months out of it. And after a successful 10-hour test flight, this team of Ryerson Aerospace Engineering students has made a big step forward in their attempt to break that record. We were able to take off and around 11 o'clock is when the solar cells started charging the batteries and powering the aircraft. We flew on solar power for probably, I'd say, 2 o'clock. We were able to charge the batteries enough to fly on until uh, way after sunset and landed after 7 o'clock after over 10 hours flight time. The plane flies in autopilot, guided by navigation points provided by the team from their ground control. Programming waypoints for the autopilot to follow and doing fine-tuning of the aircraft's controls. We can't fly much longer in November, so we have to look forward to the spring and next summer. The test flights come after two years of development of the aircraft that uses a mix of solar power and batteries. And while the 10 hours is a long way from ultimately setting a world record by flying nonstop for three months, the team is encouraged by the progress. Meshing all these things together, solar cells, battery, autopilot, all of these things have to be working well. Um, so just from a technical standpoint, it's a really great challenge. Their main motivation is to advance the use of green technologies in aviation. Which in the past tends to not to be the most green area. Um, and to be able to push the limits as the new technologies start to develop. What do you see the applications being, like practical applications for this? Um, it's hard to say, uh, but we think maybe different things like um, surveying land uh, for farmers or surveying animals um, or monitoring for wildfires and things like these. Um, things where you need to stay up for a really long time. But first, they have to achieve their goals of setting that flight record, and that will require the perfect weather and setting. The area where we've identified for flying there would be Southern California. Both things are kind of iffy right now. Uh, but we think we can also do a significant time, for example, in southern Alberta. The ultimate goal is to reach their three-month flight time next June. But of course, that will depend if COVID restrictions in the United States are lifted. At Downsview Park, Audra Brown, City News.